Anish. Wow. This is the cleanest JCM 800 I've ever seen, bar none. And I mean bar none. It's literally look like it's been vacuum sealed. There's only a few little signs or evidence of use, but certainly no abuse. Just a little bit of wear in a Tolex, which is expected. Um, the usual uh, deformation of the plastic uh, exhaust grill up here is present. You have two of the fasteners missing. I'll see if I could hit this with a, um, with a light heat gun and bend her back into shape. And the best course of action, because you can see they're lifting, you don't want to hit these down. The, the plastic will become brittle, if not uh, being brittle right now. Uh, the best course of action is just to drive them down with some small screws, some little pan heads or something. But wow, let's, let's get a look around the back and I'll show you the most amazing part of any Marshall amp with respect to wear and tear. Now, this is one of the ladder model 800s but still by the time you get them this is already uh discolored and corroded i've never seen one in such good shape it looks like it's been polished unbelievably good shape man good job taking care of this thing i think you told me you drove to nevada or nevada uh, or Arizona to pick this up. And I, I think you told me that. If, if I'm conflating two uh, customers, please forgive me. But wow, it looks great. Oh, just straight away, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you do need a new quad of match tubes. You, you don't have that here. One of the tubes is different than the others. Uh, and you can tell by the height of the base. And maybe they were matched in the beginning. And, and maybe at one point, this was also a groove tubes. But you can see here from the uneven wear of the of the silk screening that these guys are roasted and toasted. It's time to get them out of here. And let's see if you have some Marshall uh, standard issue tubes underneath these shields. All right, now I'm looking at some old tubes here. Some of them look like the original tubes. And then if you look here, you have an old RCA from the 70s in the V2 position. Pretty interesting. I guess the guy uh, ripped it out of his old twin reverb and threw it in there. Let's get this chassis out, and then we'll do a we'll do a, a video that will highlight the as-is condition before we move forward. All right. So this is a 1987. What a great year for music, by the way. What was it that um, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son or Somewhere in Time had come out from Maiden? What a decade, and, and what an amp to represent that decade. Simpler times. So let's get her hooked up, and then we'll see what's up. All righty, so I'm going to connect which uh, signal generator. So I can't reach it with my cord for the, the leader. No. Nope. Oh, I can just barely. Okay, so we'll use this one. Awesome get her going um the chassis is inverted so everything's the opposite right pretty much so let's get all the volumes and levels down um current limited circuit we're gonna engage it right here pardon me I'm trying to reach around the camera so it would appear wow It would appear that we have a blown fuse, unless I've lost my mind. Or is it just the power light? I'm certainly seeing no heaters, nor any current draw. So um, let's check out these fuses. And uh, you, you might be able to see them there at the bottom of the shot. I, I can't quite tell. Let me see if I can adjust this camera and let me take a voltage reading we'll go in ac volts obviously and we'll see what we have if anything at all all right 
All right, awesome. So I'm seeing 122 on the high tension and then nothing on the other guy. So let's see what's up. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a shorted output tube. Your filter caps physically look great. That doesn't always tell the story, but to be honest with you, in the 20 something years I've been doing this, I've, I've probably only seen two or three of these LCR cans go bad. So, just something to think about. All right, let us uh, let me hoist this old heavy girl around and disconnect everything. And then we can take a look at these fuses. And it's um, it feels like someone's been back here. Let me take a peek. Hang on. And so when you uh, meow meow kitties out there are buying these these old marshals, uh, we, one of the things you want to look at is look at the condition of look at the condition of, of these fuse bodies here, the fuse body holders, and you want to see if the edges are chewed up around um, where, where the bit would go in or the the head of the the driver, and then um, that'll give you an indication of well if the guy has the right and appropriate tools. Chances are it was well maintained, and if he didn't. Um, chances are it's not, but it, that's not necessarily the case with this one. It's just an assumption, but someone's been in here before all that to say. So let me get, let me get these fuses out, but I, I wouldn't doubt if we've got a shorted GT here, buddy. Bye. All right. So you're, I had the chassis inverted. This is the mains, uh, the, the four amp mains fuse has blown. So Let's see what's up. Um, we'll check this guy out. I highly doubt it's this guy. Okay. And then we'll check. Um, I am going to sacrifice or partially sacrifice or roughly abuse a 4 amp fuse uh, on the current limiter just so I could show you guys what it looks like uh, when you have a short, uh, what the bulb would indicate as a short. So you can take a look. So for sure, new quad tubes and a fuse, and then we'll see where it goes beyond that. And these caps can be tested. No biggie. Um, and then for certain, I, I bet you're going to need some new preamp tubes, a couple of them maybe. We'll see. Maybe we got lucky.